When people think of Bloor and Bathurst, Honest Ed still naturally comes to mind, even with all the work taking place here today. But look a little deeper and you'll see the roots of the city's black community, a history of people and black owned businesses that extends into today. And at the center of it all, a different book list cultural center, the People's Residence. The books lining the shelves with titles from black authors tell the stories often not heard or made readily available elsewhere. They bring people together in many different ways. And that is how a small independent bookstore grew into something much bigger. They pushed us to imagine, to validate what we were doing. A meeting place, a place where expression, whether it be artistic or otherwise, sometimes refuge. Yeah. So, um... Aita Sadu co-owns what has now become a cultural center, one they call the People's Residence, central to the city's black community. Prior to the pandemic, they would host workshops, open mics, and social events. That's where the legacy lives, the history lives, right? Um, and that's where, you know, uh, you, know you will find uh, that welcoming spirit and, and that community that you want to connect to. You find cultural knowledge, you find the Caribbean, you find theater, you find arts, you find music, you find love, you find the workshops, you find everything that is multicultural. The area around Bloor and Bathurst has a rich history of black owned businesses to the point that an exhibition called Blackhurst celebrated it with archival material in 2016. Just a couple of years later, a different book list was forced to move from across the street when Honest Ed's was brought down to make room for the new Mervish Village developments. It got to a point in this development that we would attend meetings and the community spoke on behalf of us. That is progress. Decades of growth from words on the page to action for those who want to continue to come together. The feel, it is um, ever changing and it, it accommodates you know, whatever you'd like to have in there. I'm just so proud as to where she started and to where they are now. What the world knows is this. Our community can come, you give us lemons, and we are going to make you rocket fuel in a second. What the future will bring for a different book list's physical space is still being figured out right now with West Bank, the developer of the new Mervish Village. Based on what's happening now, though, the future of the black community here should be as rich as its past.